So Doz, another incoming, Mohamedou Fal. We spoke about it in a week, I know you're excited. Yeah, he's a player that I've, I've tracked really for the last two or three seasons. Um, had a great move uh, to Bolton uh, about three years ago, again on the back of an excellent season with Enfield. He's come back to Enfield last season and you know, 42 goals and 13 assists. To be involved in 55 of your team's goals is, is quite incredible really. Uh, and he's obviously got a, a great relationship with Enfield Town and their supporters. He's done incredibly well there. Um, you know, and I've got to be honest, I think he expected a bigger a uh, bigger club or bigger league, that's for sure. I think he had a lot of interest from League 1 and League 2 during the pre-season. Uh, for whatever reason, that hasn't come about. And um, when we got the diagnosis of, of Tommy Wright's injury, which he is going to be out for three or four months, we think, um, then we had to bring in another striker. And obviously, uh, you know, he was top of our list. And 55 goals in any league is quite the achievement. Is that one of the main reasons he was top of that list? Yeah, I think so, but also more the way that he plays because you know we've got two excellent number nines in Danny Wright and Jason Pryor, and Mo's not really a number nine. I think if you look at him and he's six foot six, you'd assume he's a nine, but he's actually far better playing off of a nine or certainly in those two wider positions of a front three. So that was that was also key. There was a particular type of striker that we were after, and obviously Mo Mo very much fits the bill. And those qualities that you mentioned there is that going to sort of provide the perfect rotation? Yeah, I think so. Like I said, we, you know, I've known Mo for two or three years, so we're not signing him blind. It's not just a question of we needed a striker who's about. It was a question of knowing what type of player I wanted to bring in. Uh, he's quick, very quick, I would say. But as I said, not a traditional nine at all. So we've got two nines. Um, I do think he'll come in off the wide, uh, wide areas. But he's very dangerous when he does come in off those wide areas. Hard to mark. Um, as I said, he's technically very, very good for a big man as well. Um, and it's someone that gives you that variety. I think within you look at the squad that we've got and the players that we've got, I think he's just another nice bit of variety. To, he's a little bit different to the, to the other things that we've got. Reminds me a bit of how Manny played last season as well, that unpredictability. Um, and you know, Manny was a huge success here, wasn't he, in the last three months of the season before he went back to Holland. So, yeah, we're, um, we're very excited to get him. Um, you know, I know he's very pleased to be here as well. I think rightly so, he had to wait to see what other offers uh, were on the table. But ultimately, you know, we've we managed to uh, convince him to come, and I think he wants to come. That's really important. And our hope for him, the same with any of our younger players, is that he has a good season here, and we can push him into league football because I believe that eventually will be his destination. But you know, it's up to myself and the team and Mo to to make sure that happens. And it's another body in that squad. I mean, you mentioned at the start a couple of injuries as well. Mm. Yeah. So. You know, the actual move for Mo was precipitated really by the fact that the news we got from Tommy Wright and it's, it's, it's a, a hole in his cartilage as opposed to meniscus tear. That's going to mean probably three to four months out. Um, so he's due back probably about the same time as Sam Magri. They're two massive losses to the squad, Sam Magri and Tommy. As I said, it was, it was very, very important to, to plug at least one of those gaps and that's why we moved very quickly over the weekend to get Mohamedou done. Perfect. Thank you very much, Dawson. Cheers, Mo.